Welcome, one and all, to the next Billiard Network special feature match between Captain America, Shane Van Boning, and sitting in the chair, already rubbing his forehead, although we've only just started, Captain Europe, Alex Laley. This, a little bit of a challenge match prior to the Mets Bucharest Open Nine Ball Championships 2023. As we see Shane having just broken, ooh, wanting to cut that two ball thin, but didn't hit any part of it. So Alex Laley with the first pretty ideal opportunity, you have to say, with a ball in hand. My name is Rico, and uh, on behalf of the Billiard Network, thanks for clicking this link, and uh, we hope you're going to enjoy this match here between two legends of the game. And I haven't seen Alex play for quite a while, I have to say. I know he's a an avid one pocketeer these days. And of course, multiple Moscone winning Team Europe captain. Let's see how he fares in the rotation stakes. Love to be pretty straight on this seven ball already, because the eight's gonna have to go bottom right. That's why he applied that check side there. And that's gonna work out pretty nicely, I think. A little stun draw. Alright, that was more of a stop shot than a draw. So we'll have to collide with the nine ball. The nine ball most likely travels straight towards the right side rail and then has to make it come out for a shot, so... That's pretty good. Half ball cut on this nine ball. You know, you still have to aim quite well. It's kind of a feel shot, isn't it? Where is that pocket? <laughs> a little bit of body willing that nine ball into the corner pocket. All right, let's see Alex's cut break. Trying to make the corner ball bottom left. Well, made the one ball as well. Beautiful. So on this, in this tournament, and also this format, there's no break box. So you can break from anywhere behind the uh, northest quarter of the table. All right, pretty nice and loose playing style by Alex. That one perhaps needed a bit more of a decisive aim to get himself off to a good start. So, the familiar face and stroke and style of SVB at the table. Pulling the old leg up like the Filipinos. So we're here at the IDM club in Bucharest, Romania, famous for hosting the uh, Bucharest Open Nine Ball Championships in the last few years, with a uh, pretty stacked field of international stars. So this is a bit of a warm-up match prior to that tournament. I think they're playing a race to eight, I believe, maybe a race to nine. Alright, so we didn't get to uh, witness Shane's first break. We came into the game when he was playing that safety on the two ball. So let's see how he fares. So we're fast forwarding the breaking times. Oh, look at this. So Shane keeping the break box style going. So wanting to cut the one ball left side. There it goes. A bit more of an uncontrollable cue ball. Alex just checking if Shane complied with the three-point rule. Meaning to stop players breaking soft. You have to get three points on the break shot. Points can be collected. Every ball made is a point and every ball passing into the breaking area is a point. So Shane made one and then had three balls or something pass. 
into the north quarter of the table, so that was all good and well. Nice opening two ball gives him an ideal position on the three. And from here, it's almost connect the dots, meaning the object ball you're currently making gives you a shot on the next one, so not much angle required on any one of these object balls to maneuver the cue ball around. Nice little nonchalant swipe of the turtle rack by Shane. I'd love to see a one pocket match between Alex and Shane actually. Or Banks. That'd be nice. Um, I think Alex these days is more of a, a you know, a European top one pocket and Banks player than he would be considered a rotation player. Of course, Alex a multiple individual European champion, world pool masters champion. And uh, well, let's not even start about Shane's resume. So Alex cutting the one ball a little bit thinner. That's why his cue ball came into this southern part below the rack. But still has a shot on the two ball. Of course, needs to draw his cue ball back at least to the center line of the table to get a shot on the three, because that's hidden behind the orange five at the moment. Big shot here. Good cue ball. Not an ideal two ball. So what would you do here if you were Shane? Mm. Could bring his cue ball back behind this pink, red, orange wall. But then he's gonna expose the two ball. That's pretty pretty nifty there. Maybe not the complete snooker, but what do you do even if you have the left side of the two ball to shoot at? Judging from looking from Alex's view. Yeah, tough to uh, tough to get away with that. he was going to shave that five ball. He was hoping he wasn't, of course. Nice little cut on that five ball and still having the speed on the cue ball to make it travel three rails. Or, yeah, three rails. So, I'm going to see SBV, SVB open up a two game lead here, meaning he will have made inroads while Alex is on Alex's breaking game. So it's kind of like tennis these days with the alternate break rack formats anyway. You try to win the racks when you're breaking, of course, as always, but then also try to win one of the games when your opponent's breaking. Alright, Shane Van Boning 3-1 over Alex Laley. Pretty special matchup here. I don't see these two play often. Right, so Shane definitely got the one ball direction down. You know, in hitting the one ball, about half ball on the break with this break box style, you know, you're kind of zigzagging your cue ball across. It will most likely crash into other balls. Uh, so it's very unpredictable where it's going to end up. 
And with the uh, cut breaking from the side of the table, you can kind of cut the one ball, drive your cue ball into the side rail and then back out to the middle of the table. So it's easier to control or easier to bring your cue ball back to the middle of the table where of course you will have more options for your next shot. All right, so Shane pretty much cruising. Nice break. Lovely shot on the two ball to open up with. And uh, never in doubt since. So Alex Laley to break. Let's see if he can uh, hold on to Shane's coattails here. So seven ball bottom left, one ball side pocket, neither. And then that spells trouble. It's hard to make a wild ball with these cut breaks these days because you're not hitting them that hard. So if you're not making the corner ball or the one ball, so you're hard pressed to make another one somewhere else. So a soft roll into the side. Cue ball might run into the six. Ooh, to cut this one into the side with elevated cueing and then drive your cue ball into the top rail and back out. Yeah, good cue ball path. And uh, nice to get away with it like that. Ooh, tough ball to hit. If he comes off the right rail just below the side pocket, he's only got the, the right side of the two ball to hit. I think that might have to be the way to go, but then it's going to be hard to get away with it because if you can imagine, yeah, that would be the preferred way because then he can cause Shane some trouble by hitting the two ball at various points. That doesn't look like one of them, but of course, if Shane makes this into the corner, it's an, is it an automatic scratch? Or is it just going to stop the cue ball? Yeah. Nice to bring the two ball out into the open sea, let's say, because then you don't have any rails near where you can come in and out of to have perhaps two chances to hit this two ball if you don't hit it once on the way in that is a beautiful three rail kick by Alex I think Alex Laley definitely one of the more tactically astute players well in the world or also able to explain it let's say systems and ways of kicking balls playing safe speeds of kicks He's worked a lot with uh, Niels Feyen, and we all know how good Niels's tactical game is. Um, he's also done some work with Joshua Filler, who of course probably doesn't need much potting help, but uh, maybe some tactical safety nous can make him an even da more dangerous player. So That looked like a strange shot, but it's loaded this cue ball up with a lot of right spin find cover behind those two balls that was pretty nice would have to jump this but I don't think Alex may not have a jump cue at the ready or in his bag okay still goes for the jump cue of course you have to it's a hundred percent well 95% certain hit if you jump it and if you hit the lower side of the two ball your cue ball may come back behind the red three, pink four, or maybe kiss the three. I mean, the two ball might also travel north and back down south. So it might still all be in vain, but just a more certain hit. Well, Shane's checking his emails. Uh, so Alex is jumping this. So, you may notice from the demeanor of, of course, Shane 
You wouldn't see him checking his phone in the midst of a, an actual competitive match. This is a challenge match prior to the Mets Bucharest Open Championships. Nice little accuracy on that two ball and a nice spin stroke to kill his cue ball off that left side rail. I mean, more often than not, Shane lives in polo shirts he gets from matchroom tournaments here and there. He doesn't have to do much shopping for himself anymore. You, know, you get shirts made for you at every event. And then, uh, yeah, just seems to like his uh, tournament shirts. Making light work of this challenge match so far. Alex unable to really put much pressure on. All right. Accepts that that nine ball won't be missed. And it's 5-1 to Shane. So he's trying to hit the one ball half ball and drive his cue ball straight to the right into the rail. That was really good. Because that's the ideal way almost. He may not get a shot. But to drive the cue ball into the right rail and then arc it below the nine with a lot of backspin. So Shane made an illegal break, so didn't collect the three points. Made the one ball, but only the five ball passed the breaking line. That means Alex can choose if he accepts the table as it is and plays. Alex cannot play push out then, but he can give the table back and then Shane can still push out. So now still the option to sh to Alex. So Alex is going to load this up with a lot of right spin, bank the two two rails and drive his cue ball straight down towards us and then make a turn left. Pretty classic shot but still needs to be hit pretty well and you need some knowledge in, on having hit these quite a few times. But good shot. Didn't get cover, but second prize of separation and cue ball on the top rail. And there it is. Opening for Alex, albeit long two ball. Of course, if you haven't seen yourself run out for a, a good 10 minutes. Oh. He doesn't have an open shot. I thought he could just pass the three. Yeah, somehow I have a feeling he's going to thump this in. So here we go. Ooh, just a bit too straight a hit. So Shane, probably in making the three ball, if he stops his cue ball, he will have a shot. He will have a shot on the four ball, so we'll probably leave it there. No need to screw it all the way back to where it is now. Yeah. So just kind of taking your medicine, meaning he's going to have to perform a bit more cue ball control after coming off this four, albeit... Cue ball will travel off the top rail towards where it is now, so if he can stop it somewhere along the way, he will have a shot on the five. Ooh, let, loaded it up with left spin. Hit the four ball too thick. Didn't judge the deflection well enough. But is Alex going to curve this? Swerve this, however you want to call it. And also kick it off the left side rail. Oh, 
Nice. Nice hit, and therewith more likely to get position. So. Ideal line, maybe a little bit longer five ball than he would have ideally liked. But now, back in the run out saddle. Would love a straight shot on the seven ball, but can handle most angles. Uh, recently, Alex traveled with the organizer of this Mets Bucharest Open, Robert Braga, to New Orleans, to the biggest one pocket tournament in the world, where all of the uh, very, very best gathered. And uh, pretty special about that tournament, besides the main prize money, which is pretty high, um, they have a player auction before the tournament starts, meaning you can. You can bid to uh, buy your favorite player or the one you think will win the tournament. Let's say uh, Shane went for like 40,000, Packy Lion went for like 38,000, etc. And in total, with the 16 players that were on auction, they gathered $281,000. And the winner. If your player would win the tournament, you'd win $125,000. So that's about like 40% of the auction total purse. It's pretty nifty, huh? Biggest Calcutta in the history of pool that was. Anyway, back to the game at hand. Yeah, Shane Cruising looking pretty unbothered. So 6-2, likely scoreline after these three balls. And Alex won't be playing in the Mets Bucharest nine ball championships that will uh, follow after this practice day. Shane will. We also have the co-brothers, as you can see on the right poster or the right banner. Copen Yi, winner of the 2022 edition. Shane's cut break. Beautiful. So how does he get from the two to the three? Can maybe stun his cue ball to his right. And play the three ball in the top left corner pocket. Yeah. Nice. And this baby may have been the most skill he will have to show in a pot and position shot. So here a bit of elevation. Can zigzag his cue ball from the right to the left. As long as he doesn't hook himself behind the black ball. Shane always looks so much in stroke, doesn't he? He's, he has so much table time in which he often performs like big stroke shots, long pots, a lot of cue ball action. And it seems like, you know, he's been in stroke for about 25 years or so. We'll turn 40 and somewhere in the summer of 2023. But yeah, always really seems like he's just uh, in dead punch. So 7-2. Let's go, Alex. Show us what you can do. While also adopting the break box. But hitting that a lot thicker than Shane did. Still made the one ball. Did comply with the three-point rule. So we'll probably see Alex throwing even more caution to the wind. Meaning he's going to let his stroke out. Ooh. All right. 
Karn. <laughs> I think Alex is already counting his money that he's going to hand over to Shane. Yeah, see, Alex already laying the money on the table, not expecting another visit to the table. Still, pretty good practice if you can get it, you know, for about $50 or so. I hope he didn't lose more than that. That's a pretty good half hourly rate for Shane Van Boning. Nice shot there to keep his cue ball. Left side of the table. I mean, more of a cut than he would have liked on the seven. But if you've been winning games for the last half hour, this seems left less of a challenge. Nice. Bit of inside spin. So a cruising Shane Van Boning. Alex giving up the nine ball, bumping fists. And the battle of these two captains goes to Shane Van Boning for the time being. Thank you for joining us on the Billiard Network. Have a look at the library. Let us know any questions or comments. Press the like button, press the share button, press the subscribe button if you want to be notified the next time we post a new video. And uh, we hope you're all doing well. And take care.